everybody, it's Kat. <clears throat> so, I got done with volleyball practice, and I was super exhausted. It's like 1 o'clock in the morning, and I accidentally fell asleep when I got home. And I've taken a shower, <clears throat> and I have my onesie on. It's got a little fox on it. I got this from Target. It's actually Nick and Nora pajamas. I'm obsessed with Nick and Nora pajamas. And look at the little feet. They're little fox feet. I love it. So I'm in my onesie because it's kind of cold in my house. So I have that on. I feel like I'm far away. <sighs> Anywho. So took a shower and everything. I laid down for a second. I was like, I'm just going to take a quick nap. Completely slept past dinner. Just didn't even. Didn't even. So um, I was going to do the Ulta haul and um, give you first impressions of the makeup. But... Seeing as how it's 1 o'clock in the morning and I actually need to take my makeup off from the day, I figured I'd go ahead and show you my nightly skincare routine. So, with that being said, earlier today I showed you guys my Wally World haul in which I got my Neutrogena Makeup Remover uh, Cleansing Towelettes. Um, so there's that. So I'll go ahead and take this off, my makeup off right now with this before I go Clarisonic my face and you guys can watch me Clarisonic my face. So what is it? It says, oh, okay. It's a uh, gently and effectively dissolves all traces of dirt, oil, and makeup in seconds. Patent formula is so effective it easily removes even waterproof mascara. Leaves skin thoroughly clean with no heavy residue and there's no need to rinse. That I agree upon because I really don't wash my... There's a lot of times where... Actually, well, I guess about half and half. I use my Clarisonic probably, I, I try to every night, but that's not the case because, I, like I said, I fall asleep and stuff happens. So I'll use my Clarisonic about, like, four times a week as best I can in the morning and night. Um, like, this morning I used it, and tonight I'll use it. But there's times where I just don't feel like scrubbing my face. I will definitely use these. They do leave them feeling pretty moisturized. You don't and have to rinse off or dry or anything. Um... But because I need I need to use my Clarisonic because I have so many bumps and stuff going on my nose right now, I need to. So I'm going to remove all my makeup with this first, and then go in there in the bathroom and scrub my face. And you guys can see my bathroom. Dirty. I think I did a video in my bathroom. I think I did. I think I did. So we're just uh, unpeeling this little tab right here. Okay. And we're picking up a towelette. Oh, by the way, so, okay, I got up, I'm super hungry, I'm like, what can I eat? My go-to snack at night is chips and salsa, I don't know why, but I eat blue corn chips just because they're, like, lower in carb and higher in protein, which is kind of cool, so, uh, that's, like, my go-to snack, especially at night, I shouldn't be eating at 1 o'clock in the morning, but my stomach is, like, eating itself at the moment, and it's, like, growling, and it's horrible, so I needed something to hold me over. And I will show you this makeup in a second. It's awesome. Like, the removing stuff of it. So I'm just wiping and getting all the crap off. All the crap off. Crap off. That sounds... That sounds like a product. Crap off. I've been thinking goop off. Goo off. Goop off. Something like that. Let's wipe my eyes again. Make sure I get underneath and everything. You just gently do your eyes. You don't have to, like, scrub really hard or anything. I'm just gently rubbing. I don't have any eyeshadow on today because, of course, I was playing and there was no point in putting eyeshadow on. Oh, uh, it's on the sides. Get underneath right there on the bottom lashes. Same thing on the other side. And I like this whole nowadays where people are, are using, like, minimal makeup. I really like that because people... I feel like back in the day, like, nobody could use makeup to make themselves more attractive. And, like, a lot of people weren't as materialistic as we seem to be nowadays. And so makeup wasn't, like, a priority back then. And I just feel like I'm glad we're kind of getting back to it and everybody's going more natural. Like, I don't hardly wear any makeup. I really don't when you think about it. Like, I don't every day put on foundation and stuff. I think my basic staples are my concealer, blush, and mascara. That's about it. And my moisturizer, of course, but that's, like, for, you know, um, what, you know, making sure I don't look like I have wrinkles and gross stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm so glad, like, I think Cameron Diaz recently did a book about, um, 
like your natural beauty like completely simple or so. I don't know what it's called but I really want to read it just because it seems like it'd be pretty awesome I was getting off the last of this mascara sorry it's taking so long I'm trying to talk so what I'll do is I take it right here I take it in between my two fingers like that and just kind of pinch it I grab a little hold of my lashes and then just kind of um, pinch it off and I'll show you uh, what it looks like too when I pinch it off it looks pretty awesome I'm not pulling hard at all just jealous okay so there's the strip with all my mascara on it and there's where I pinched it off up there at the top um, so now my face is completely clean I normally could just go to bed like this but since I gotta use my Clarisonic because I just feel a necessary compulsion to we're gonna go use my Clarisonic so face is all clean let's go to my bathroom all right, so we're in my bathroom and we gotta kind of be quiet because people downstairs are sleeping. So, shh. All right, so we're throwing that away and now we're gonna clean my face. So let's, you definitely can't see, but I'll cross it over here. Claire Sonic. Look at my awesome PJ. Okay, popping that out. Getting the gel that I bought at Sephora. Popping off the cap. Let me wet, I'm gonna wet my face first, so hang on. Wet the brush a little bit. Shake it off, because there's excess. Apply a little bit. Just a couple little dabs, okay. And begin the scrubbing process. Me. Scrub, scrub, scrub your nose. Scrub the balls in my nose. Ew. <laughs> oh, and you probably can't hear it, but like when it beeps, that means it's time time to change areas. So the first area you go to is your forehead. When it beeps, then you go to your nose and chin. When it beeps again, you go to one cheek, and when it beeps the final time, you go to the other cheek. So, almost done. And we're done. Wash it off. I'm set this down for a second and wash my face. Pat it dry. Pat, 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 pat. Okay. Claire Sonic is waterproof, so I just I get it wet all over and then dry it off. I pat against, making sure I get all the brushes dry. Okay, and then I reapply the cap. And I come over here. And I plug it up, it's a little magnet, and it just clips on there. And it's charging. Sweet! Okay, so now we're back in my closet. Um, <clears throat> my final step that I do for my facial um, treatment at night is there are these products um, called Hada Labo, Hada Labo, I guess, or I'm gonna be like Hey to Labo, Hada Labo uh, from the line of Tokyo. And I use a skin plumping cream and a replenishing hydrator um, with super hyaluronic acid. Um, they're both lightweight and fragrance free. They feel amazing. So this is what the skin plumping one looks like. It's awesome. I use it underneath my eyes, on my forehead. I have wrinkles right here. When I was 10 years old, I got a really bad sunburn, a second degree sunburn, and my face peeled, especially my forehead, like no other. It was burnt. It literally was burnt. Um, because I just was in Florida and didn't wear it that year. I don't know what happened. But anyway, horrible burned. So my curse is having wrinkles at 21 years old. <laughs> so I deal with it, but this actually helps to minimize. It used to be a lot worse, like 
like old man forehead but that actually got a lot better so thanks to this it also helps i have really like can have really baggy like that kind of eyes and these like tighten it up um so i will use this i did remember for the mini ulta hurl i showed you guys this tart uh the pure maracuja oil and the c brighter eye treatment um i think i'll go ahead and, i think i'm going to go ahead and try that tonight um oh by the way this is the other one this is what the uh replenishing hydrator looks like is that light off like maybe it's not in the center there we go so that's what that looks like this is also kind of like a silicone base and this is an actual like cream there's the white cream so anyway uh, I normally use this. I use this under the eyes, over the eyes, on the forehead, this everywhere else, including my neck. I will use this on my neck sometimes too if I've been out in the sun a lot. Just I'll use both to rehydrate and firm. But since I needed to do a review on this uh, Tarte facial and neck oil and cream, I'll go ahead and do that now. So, kill two birds with one stone. Alright, so we open it up and there are our two products. I'll go ahead and do the um maracuja c brighter eye treatment i'll go ahead and try that first and with this um let's oh apparently it says in the evening apply two three drops of the oil to clean dry skin to the face and neck then use your ring finger to gently smooth the eye cream on the orbital bone toward the temples and along the brow bone i guess because it says to do it in a certain order i'll do it in a certain order just to make sure i get the full effect and whatever of the product so here's a little squeegee bottle first go ahead and push the top down release it so that way you get oil in there and it says two to three drops so that's what i'm gonna do oh lord so i can do this let's go there's one drop ah. um we'll go with the cheek so it works can you tell two drops and three drops and I shall rub. Let's see how well this stuff works. I feel like I have to rub it in. Like, like two or three drops ain't gonna be enough. Oh lord, maybe I should apply it to my fingers first. I hope this doesn't clog my pores. I don't think it should. My face feels oily now. <laughs> I actually know a lot of people. I'm probably gonna do like one more drop on here. I actually know a lot of people that like swear by facial oils. They say it's like a miracle. And I was all like, no, nah, I can't do facial oils. It just, you know, I just feel like they like would really clog stuff up. So we'll see if this actually like, works or not. I'm kind of just applying my fingers as needed. The last little bit of oil, I'll put it on my neck right here. Okay, so that's all on. I got my face all covered and everything. Um, I mean, it feels like a an oil. There's not really a smell to it. It's kind of like a natural, just oil smell. Not too bad. Um, I'll have to see how it affects my skin, like in the morning and stuff, and what it looks like. It does feel pretty good so far. I mean, it is just a facial oil. Uh, my skin feels still pretty light. Like to the touch, it feels greasy. Not greasy. I mean, just a little oily, but. Like, oh, no, not too bad. I think, like, when I wash it off in the morning, it'll, like, I'll feel better. We'll see how see how soft my skin is in the morning. This is supposed to make it, like, really soft. Um, okay, so the second one is the Tarte Maracuja Sea Brighter Eye Treatment. So we'll go ahead and do that. And it said, run it, the admit, or a ring finger, under the eye and the orbital bone around that, just the eye socket area. So I'll go ahead and do that. So I'll get some on my finger, about so. I'll spread a little bit under, a little bit over. On the side. So we'll go ahead and rub that in really nicely. Okay, it says get all the way down around to the temple, up on the orbital bone underneath the eyebrow. So I'm doing that. This this actually feels really nice. Like if you that feels really nice on my eyes. Like if you kind of get some wind on it, it feels really nice. So we'll get a little more on the finger. A little under, a little over, and to the side. Okay, so kind of rub it all the way around. Rub, rub, rub. Rub, rub, rub. Rub the eye treatment. Rub the eye treatment. Oh, rub, rub, rub. All the way over. 
get the brow bone. Don't know why I'm singing. Okay. It actually feels pretty nice. Um, doesn't irritate or anything. Kind of like it. Kind of awesome feeling. So, all in all, I like this. Um, probably the eye treatment more than the oil, just because I'm not used to using facial oils. I think that if I try to use this like every night, it would become like a habit and I might like it. Um, we'll see how I feel. My skin feels in the morning, and then um, I'll do a video um, of my makeup routine in the morning since I already be getting up pretty early. Um, I'll just upload that while I'm in class because the first part of class is like just book and stuff. So, um, uh, let's see. I'll get up. I have to be at class at 9. I'll probably get up about. I'll get about 7 to the video for you guys. So, anyway, all in all, product review. I like these so far. The eye treatment cream more than the oil, but that's probably because I'm not used to it right now. I just friggin' dropped that. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and put these back in their box so I don't lose them, because if they're out in the open, I'll probably lose them. I lose stuff all the time. Get over to the side. Okay. No? Okay. There we go. Sweet. So, yeah, that's my nightly skincare routine. Of course, I go brush my teeth. I ate a lot of salsa. I go brush my teeth and floss. Always floss, kids, because cavities suck. Remember that. Cavities are, they suck. Ugh. I hate cavities. <laughs> Anywho, so uh, everybody have a good night or good morning since it's like 1.30 now. Um, thank you guys for watching. Uh, comment down below if you have any questions or um, if you guys are curious about this stuff. Um, uh, I can do a another routine with like this in it. Actually, I'll probably get up and I'll put this on in the morning. Um, before I put on my makeup. So, I'll just do that. When I record in the morning, I'll go ahead and put my skin plump, skin plumping and my replenishing hydrator on. Um, I want you guys to know exactly how that feels because I, you know, I know how it feels, but I'll just give you the experience that happens when I put it on. So, anyway, thanks for watching. If you're curious or have a comment, just put it down below. I'll put the products, um, link, or, uh, put them in the down bar. Um, like the video if you like, if you like it, love it, whatever. Um, and yeah, so I will see you guys in the morning. Sweet dreams. Bye.